Welcome to the Digital Culture and Project Management of the Future. And congratulations, because you have the superpower to transcend the project management discipline to the next level. I am Sarah Nunez, CEO and founder of a Strategy Execution Solution. And we provide consulting services to global PMOs to facilitate the integration of the AI strategy into their portfolio of projects and guide the digital transformation more effectively. A big portion of our revenue is donated to Dream to Succeed Foundation. Our mission is to develop and promote Latinos in the STEAM community to create jobs and eliminate poverty one person at a time. So in the next 10 minutes, I want you guys to jump in action. The future of work of project management is now. So there is three quick key questions that I'd like to answer with you, okay? We're gonna answer it together. The first one is what is required from the leadership and organizational culture to succeed in this era? Second, why diversity and inclusion is so critical now more than ever? And last, what impact should we expect to the human workforce? Interesting question, right? Well, let's go with number one. Leadership and culture, what is needed for success? Well, I'm gonna share with you a couple of key success factors. The first one and the most important is that every single organization most have an AI, an AI strategy, artificial intelligence strategy, okay? Key for success number two, you most, follow a digital implementation model for every project. It goes beyond the project management processes and tools that we use today. So if you don't have one, reach out to your PMO leader for it. Here's a simple, easy one to follow. It's the Microsoft AI 360 model. Three key components, benefits, capabilities, and functionalities. Let's see how they work. For key success factor number three, we're gonna start with Defining the benefits of your project. In this model, the benefit describes two types of projects. It's either a transformed product, right, where customer must be engaged, or second, a process optimization where you need to enable employees to do their job a little bit different going forward. Key for success here is that the benefits are defined as far as your scope, time and cost management. And the customer is in the center. Key for success number four, your organization must have digital capabilities in place. New leadership styles is required, a collaborative environment, an open culture where innovation and change are embraced. Data science and analytics are required skill for everyone. Data management and governance is a most to have. Everyone must be very knowledgeable of the emerging technology and new players. The ecosystem is broader. It's not only about the company and the employees that you work with every day. It's about the company's partners and the vendors. So you gotta understand what the ecosystem is and how big it's getting. The next skill set is Emotional intelligence and psychology is also a most to have. You've got to master this skill because remember, we're teaching machines to be human. So emotional intelligence will help you manage your project at multiple dimensions. Across all these capabilities, I will add one personally because I really think this is critical. Humanity and be ethical. It is our responsibility. Our objective as human must be to use technology to advance us, improve our quality of life, not to destroy us. We need to work on a self-regulated environment. Guys, key for success number five, digital functionalities. You have to be technology savvy. You have to understand how the digital functionalities work and you're gonna speak the new language. Digital transformation is about data management and algorithm. To call machines, to teach them to be human, to feel, to listen, to take action. 
So we're going to talk about key functionalities like prescribe, automate, analyze data to pre predict, personalize, or provide insight to drive decision. Right now we have a new component here. So if I were to give you a tagline for the key success factor in the leadership and culture is that we are creating the future together, okay? Second question, diversity and inclusion, why more than ever? The digital era is teaching machines to be human. I emphasize, it can discriminate and make judgment decisions that could impact us as human. So three key components here, the first one, we must be part of the solution and represent who we are with prior responsibility. Our voice must be louder. Diversity of thoughts can take us to places that we've never been. Our thoughts represent who we are. We are human. Two, we gotta have an empathetic mindset. We need to listen more, observe. Be empathetic means that we walk in on the shoes of our customers. We have to see ourselves in the mirror and look at the customers right there, right? Customer has to be part of the ideation, execution and delivery of the project. And then we have to be committed to walk with them as they go because we need to adjust and make it better. The last component is relationship building. And I cannot emphasize more here because obviously there is new emerging technology, new players. We got to include them. Diversity and inclusion, tagline, diversity of thoughts and agility mindset are the DNA of the organization. The last question, traits to human workforce. And I'm going to flip the word traits into opportunities because the rule number one going forward for everybody is that as we rebuild the economy, experts are requiring us to be positive and optimist. So we are moving from fears to excitement on this question. So there are three key messages that leaders in the industry has given us about AI. The first one, AI is promising a very productive and efficient economy. And you know what, during COVID-19, it's obvious that data becomes so critical and it is promising us to recover fast if the data is good and if we pay attention to it, right? Predictability. Second, reality can hit us hard. There will be many, many jobs eliminated, but many more will be created. So I'm asking you, are you already drafting your job description of the future? You should, because the future is now. Last sentence, so that, that last messaging is so cool too. AI could be probably the most important thing we have ever worked on because we can create our destiny, guys. We can bring solutions to problems that we've never been able to do it ourselves. So this is important, but we have to act responsibly. Now, if we are teaching the machines to do some of our work, we will also find more time to maximize our capabilities and discover new solutions and improve our quality of life. We have 90% of our brain capabilities waiting to be discovered. So my tagline here will be, discover your potential and create your destiny. So as a summary of these 10 minutes, if we were to talk about leadership and culture and what's critical for success, we are creating that future together. Two, diversity and inclusion, our diversity of thoughts and agile mindset are the DNA of the organization. And last, yes, there are impact to the human workforce, but let's discover our potential and create our destiny together. Thank you.